Go. All right, so disease is a word that not many like to hear and many others, many others try to avoid throughout their lifetime. One, dis one concept of a disease that is on the rise within our society is that of obesity. Many people have heard of the term and have a slight idea about what it is, but when asked, cannot uh, point out whether someone is considered obese or not. Hi, my name is Brian, and as a current undergraduate studying human nutrition and exercise science, I have taken two classes that have exposed me firsthand to the topic of obesity. These classes were titled Nutrition Across the Lifespan and Medical Weight Management. Today I will inform you on the topic of obesity. To start, I will define, give the definition of obesity. I will explain what leads someone to be considered obese, and I will also um, say the include the prevalence in our society. Uh, secondly, I will name uh, the common risk factors that can increase someone's risk of becoming obese. And lastly, I will list some available treatments and preventative measures. To start, you must know the definition and how common obesity is within our society. An article from Medline Plus states that obesity is a chronic disease, which means that it occurs over a long period of time and does not happen overnight or even within a few months. The simple definition is that an individual has more body fat on them than what is considered healthy. A common test doctors use to determine if a person is considered obese or not is that of a body mass index scan or a BMI. According to an article on Mayo Clinic, if a person whose result BMI is greater than 30, that person is said to be considered obese. This number may seem high to many, but in reality, it's actually lower than people would think, as nearly 40% of current U.S. adults are obese. This is information uh, coming from data collected in 2015 by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention as, and reinforced by the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development. Now that you know how common it is, what are common risk factors that make it a rising problem? There are many risk factors that are common that people are doing, but they might not realize that it's increasing their chance of becoming obese. With TVs, computers, and phones on the rise, the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute rank decreased physical activity among the top risk factors for obesity. They also list unhealthy eating habits um, as part of this, uh, these risk factors as well. Increased fast food chains that provide cheap, energy-dense food, meaning that they are high in calories and not necessarily high in nutrients, as well as increased grocery store processed food affordability leads to poor eating habits and poor eating decisions. People with these poor eating decisions and habits usually tend to overeat, accumulating fat, and increasing their BMI. So now that you know many people are doing these risk factors, what are some of the treatments or preventative measures for obesity? Well, just like any other disease, obesity has many different levels as well as different treatments for them for those different levels. An article on WebMD states that the first necessary step in treatment for an individual that is obese is a lifestyle change from poor habits to healthy habits. This step is simple as it is individually driven and requires nothing except for motivation on the individual's side. The National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute states that there's three levels. The first being that of lifestyle changes similar to the one listed on the article from WebMD. The second level is that of specific weight loss program tailored towards an individual in which an individual will meet with medical professionals such as doctors, nutritionists, and physical therapists to achieve their weight loss goals. 
The third level is all out surgery for very extreme cases. There are many different types of surgeries, but they're all very similar in the fact that they usually decrease the size of an individual's stomach so that they eat less and over time lose weight. These last two treatments are for extreme cases. However, the first treatment being changes in lifestyle habits from poor to healthy heat eating habits can act, anyone can use as a preventative measure. In conclusion, I have informed you about what obesity is. The percentage of obese individuals has increased dramatically within the past two decades, and it is up to the individuals to decrease this trend in the upcoming years. We as a population need to keep in mind risk factors, treatments, and preventative measures associated with obesity to decrease this epidemic.